We turn now to the very latest on the safety of your money. Today, President Joe Biden addressed the issue, hoping to ease concerns about the nation's banking system after two regional banks collapsed in one week. Nidia Han is here with us, and let's talk about it. What consumers and investors really need to know, Nidia? Yeah, there's a lot you need to know. This was very worrisome. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank was the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. Federal regulators have now taken control of SVB, as well as Signature Bank, which regulators shut down yesterday. But the headline for consumers and investors today is there is no need to panic. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. Your deposits will be there when you need them. President Biden this morning reassured Americans and small businesses after the collapses of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. The federal government took over the failed banks and took an extraordinary step of guaranteeing SVB customers will have access to all their deposits, even those above the FDIC insured limit. Each account is insured up to $250,000. What does that mean? That is one account per depositor, per institution, per account types. The Fed say its response to the failures is not a bailout. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. Meantime, money experts say this is a good wake-up call for consumers. There is absolutely one thing that people should be doing right now, and that is to make sure that their deposit accounts are backed by the federal insurance funds, whether it's in a bank, in a savings and loan, or a credit union. FDIC insurance covers things like checking and savings accounts and certificates of deposit. It's important to know that investor money and other items are not protected. What FDIC insurance does not cover, for example, is your mutual fund. It doesn't cover your annuity. It doesn't cover life insurance. It doesn't cover, for example, the contents of your safe deposit box. And as far as the ripple effect this could have on the broader economy and the market, it's too early to know exactly what the long-lasting impacts could be. But certainly we will be watching what the Federal Reserve decides to do with interest rates when it makes its next announcement on March 22nd. Great back to you. Yeah. Okay, something to keep thanks. an eye on.